What is up visualizers, STV in motion here again and today we've got two clips for people who support us on Patreon. I want to show you these clips, I want to show you some uh, coloring ideas, some animation techniques. This is the first clip, the second clip is this one. Together they form this uh, holy trinity of tiki masks. Let's uh, go over the different colorizations I made here. So we got all kinds of uh, coloring and animation stuff. I will uh, go and show you each one of them soon. Yes. And also this one. All right, so let's uh, start by revealing that these clips are actually delivered to you horizontally. And the reason for that is to use as much as pixels as possible. You can, of course, just take them, rotate them, fit them wherever you want, and they really have uh, the maximum amount of pixels. And this is the first clip. The second one is uh, very similar, but it's from the side, and together they can form this kind of look. Also, uh, uh, you know, they can uh, face inwards, like I'm showing you here. Let's talk about colorization for a minute, if we are already here. You know, the fun thing, if I have this kind of clip and I made it so colorful uh, intentionally, let's take a uh, U-Rotate now and drop it on it. And I always know that I can take the U-Scale and take it from full colors and all the way down to one color. And here we have the adjacent colors on the color wheel and I can uh, make it a hot uh, colors or I can make it a cool colors like these and uh, it's all possible this is a nice look you know it's all possible because i made the original clip colorful what i did is i already have a lot of uh, different uh, colorizing effects here i uh, showed more about them in different uh, tutorials in the past but um, i'm just uh, you know uh, played with different uh, hues i mean different colorizations uh, turning it on, off, adding uh, the edge detection, adding maybe blur, you know, all kinds of good stuff. And um, I can later just uh, close them and, you know, take the effects I need and uh, put them on copies of these clips and then I have the effects that will work for me. This one, for instance, is black and white and this is really useful if you want to use the mask mode. You know, the one here and uh, use this as masks to mask your other visuals and this is a trick that Daniel Pena uh, told me and thank you Daniel for that here what you have to do is use the grayscale and it will really uh, make it uh, black and white black and white uh, look very defined and I added another uh, levels effect that pops everything more that's that all kinds of colorization. Let's talk about uh, animation a little bit. So we got this guy here who's jumping on the center. Uh, this is its envelope. And we got these guys that jump on an offbeat envelope. And that's how we can have them both jump to the beat. This is our friend Edge Detection here. And the same animation as before, different uh, colorizations. The next one is a, uh, the same edge detection, but we have here an interesting thing. Let's see these. And the linear cloner here is with a delay. And that's uh, how they all uh, kind of uh, cascade together forever. Next one is building on the same thing. You know, we had this uh, linear cloner with a delay but I added something about, I guess uh, it's here. Yeah, there is a rotation here that rotates them up and down and that's why it looks so awesome. Also, this guy is also rotating to the right and left. The next one, I guess you can really figure out how to make it, just different kind of uh, looks. This is a darker thing. Another look we have here all kinds of uh, fun uh, looks and this is something else I wanted to talk about. 
So what do we have here? We have this uh, ticky guy here. It just animates on the position X on the, on the scale. So it looks like it's coming from uh, far away and uh, to the center. And this guy does the exact opposite of it. To be honest, it was not so easy to and intuitive to get to the other guy because the X was supposed to be, I don't know, I reversed it and this animation had to happen in the center here because we want them to have a right, left, right, left on the beat. And that's what uh, I made happen. The next one is another clip that uh, I made. It's this clip. You know, and the difference between this clip and this clip is that this one is facing the tiki and this one is a little bit from a low angle. So it can be fun to have this clip as well, a little bit from low angle to have more impact. And these two clips. And the last ones are uh, really silly. These are all with radial cloners. And this is a little bit more of a abstract uh, speaker uh, tweeter something. This is also with the radial cloner. Another one more of a mandala style. If you don't believe me, let me just close it for a minute. See what's going on here? Ooh, that's weird. This one and the mirror on it. And then drop shadow. Also with the radial cloner. That's how we made this uh, mandala thing. Another uh, option of this. This is with the rotation is animating here. A lot of goodness here. So these were the clips for this month. Next month we're gonna have a totally different uh, look. Something that we didn't release yet. I actually don't know what it's gonna be yet. So a uh, surprise, surprise next month. Until then, go out and amaze your uh, audience. Booyakasha!